All right, Moro, you gotta die. Wait, wait, what? Any last words? No, 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 no. I've, I've been cordial. I've been very upfront about all I this. Am, I am actually of the opinion that there might be an option here. All right, I'm listening. I think that we can come to a financial arrangement. Mm. Go on. I think that maybe we can leave a little gold in return. Nothing is spoken of, and maybe if anybody, any of this party, especially if we leave a small sketch of who we're looking for arrives, we are simply gently alerted. And in return, everything is just left as it is. I mean, to be fair, if, even if they're we leave right now just with a giant pile of bodies in here is a big problem for these two anyway. That is true. Where's Jester at? I'm on top of Caleb. Hey! Hi. Hey, Jesse. You still got that uh, that spell that lets you track people wherever they go, and so they are incentivized to play along with Obviously. what we have? Obviously. Why don't you do that on all over here? You Me. got it. Mara goes, I hold up my traveler symbol. I say blanky blanky do, shall I gam, shall I? I use thaumaturgy to flare my eyes like, and blow his hair back. Her hair back. Yeah. All right, you've been marked. That does it. Don't you fuck us over, because it could go bad for you. No, you really, uh, it's okay. Do you do the really strong one where they just die instantly if they oh, break their... That's the only one I know. Okay, well. <laughs> what? I on this do you want to talk to these dead things? Oh, yeah, we can, oh right. Can we we can take, take their heads. Or do we leave? We can take their heads? I'm so that sorry. dark. What? Shit. That's a good idea. No, I'm going to go over to one. Whoa. Yeah, I hope Yasha behead the other. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. boy. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're now we have a place for this. Time is of the fucking essence, Caduceus. I don't know who you are! <laughs> That's going to take weeks to scrap out of the wood! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you talk, that would be you. Understood? I understand it completely! Uh, see, now that's dark. We don't want to, though. I don't want to do that to you. I'm getting a lot of weird mixed messages from you guys. <laughs> Just play by the rules, and you don't want to get turned inside out and your head cut off. You get it? No worries! <laughs> looks looks a little slender. Uh, it's hard to tell from this distance. Sure. You're about, you know, 70 or so feet from this figure. I'm going to, under the pretense of thinking that he's dead, send Frumpkin about 20 feet in front of him onto the ground. And do okay. like little mini steps closer. Okay. Like he's looking at food. Okay. Um, as Frumpkin lands and looks forward, you see the figure is standing there, kind of legs crossed. Uh, the, the pale gray body itself, you can see kind of the, the skin pulled tight against the rib cage. The creature's jaws open a bit, its eyes are clouded over in white. You can see like layers of broken, jagged teeth on both sides of its mouth. Um, Did it's pumpkin it, to squawk loudly at it. Pumpkin squawks loudly. It kind of looks up at it. Dead thing. Dead thing. It looks back over towards you guys. It stands up for a minute. It brings its arm up against. The tree, and where you look, where its arm is, the it's forearm extends into this long, kind of hooked point. Ooh. Oh my it's god! Up. It stands up, fucking <laughs> gets up into the eye. It turns around, and you can now see its other arm is the same, and there is a third arm coming out of it, out of its stomach that also comes to this point, and it kind of looks to you all and kind of. No. Gives this like low, mournful, what the fuck? just wail. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> and we're gonna take a break on that. <laughs> I don't like it when you do it. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be some twenty-eight days later shit. That was so scary. <laughs> This guy over here, who's was behind the rock, after being blasted in the chest, was going to climb through that opening and instead turns and goes <gasps> and skitters towards you. Stop, man! Why are you doing it? Because it's fun. Runs past yeah. over here oh God. and is going to take its multi-attack arm spikes at you. He's 
one out on a limb. Ooh. Oh, no, terrible, terrible. <laughs> very good. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, hits. All right, that's your turn. You that brings us to Caduceus. Um, Watch okay. out, Caduceus! Carried by bats. They're armed! No, no, oh. no, that's really no, that, that, was, that wasn't even worth the moment. Keep trying. Keep trying. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's um, let's do a him. Yeah, uh, you, you have a hard time seeing what's happening over there. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna draw on the one uh, with Ford and say, Ford, looks like you could use a extra hand. And then, <laughs> there he goes. I'll fire at the things like. Hands. Go for it. <laughs> Go for stabby. it. 22. So instead, it comes forward towards you, both of its arms out, and pierces them through your body and pulls you in toward it. All the arms like ksh, 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 oh ksh, wrapping around you like a spider trapping its prey. And now you're pressed up against it. All you can see is its bright eye and its mouth open, just <gasps> pulling you as close to the creature as you possibly can. Nope. You take 28. Uh, sorry, 31 points of uh, piercing damage, and you are grappled. You're also frightened. Okay. While it's holding you, you just feel its mournful wail just shaking your soul at its very deepest level. Yeah. And it's just pulling you closer and closer towards it. Okay, I'm going to not risk it. I'm going to do a uh, guiding Is... bolt on the one attacking Ford. Okay, go for it. Is Ford worth saving? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm gonna do it at the third level. Whoa! Okay. Whoa. Roll for an attack. Whoa! Jesus! I went aggressive. Uh, oh. that's 16. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. That'll hit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 66. 66. Woo. Whoa. Um, 11, yes. 19, yes. 20, 23 again. Yeah. Do this. Yeah. I'm gonna hold up my symbol of the traveler, and I'm gonna um, think really hard about saving Ford and um, making him safe again. And um, I'm just gonna send the blast of guiding bolt um, straight. Oh, I don't wanna hit Ford. I'm gonna aim it low, and I'm gonna go <laughs> up through the back of the guy's head and out, out with the beam of pink energy. Okay, as it blasts in and fires at the back of its head, the head just disintegrates in the divine energy, leaving this kind of smoking crater where its neck and head once was. Its body goes limp and crumples away from the forward's body. Uh, I want to sit down and have a cry. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll run up and Give Jesse a little kiss on the cheek, say what? thanks, and I'll step around her and fire two Eldritch Blasts oh, at the one uh, yeah. attacking oh, Caleb. Nice. Go for it. All right. Uh, those are both nines, which means uh, that's an 18 to hit. Yeah, both hit. Okay, great. Four, uh, 11 points of Eldritch Blast damage. with Caduceus' array, you watch its body wither slightly. You can hear its wail get a little higher pitched as its actual physical self begins to lose some strength. And then, oof, almost blown over, it catches itself on the Moorbounder from the impact of both, both of your blasts, and then <laughs> picks itself back up. It's too kind of uh, back shoulder blade. Us an arm and a oh. Oh. Okay, so nighttime here, super duper bad, yeah? Oh, it makes them stronger, whatever it is.